Hi, it's Takeshi from JPLL.com. In the previous video, I talked about the history of the Tokaido, Sanyo, and the Kyushu Shinkansen, and the successful vehicles. In this video, I will talk about the Shinkansen vehicle currently operated by JR East, such as the Tohoku, Hokkaido, Joes, and the Hokuriku Shinkansen. And I will talk about the history of these Shinkansen lines too. Let's find it together. Series, the first train of the Tohoku and the Joes Shinkansen. The 200 series was introduced on June 23, 1982, the same as the opening of the Tohoku Shinkansen. This vehicle has been working for a quite long time and was last retired on April 14, 2013. The maximum speed when this vehicle was first put in was 210 km per hour. This was the same as the maximum speed of the Tokaido Shinkansen from Tokyo to Osaka at that time. But since then, the maximum speed of this vehicle has increased to the 240 km per hour. I wrote here as a 275 km per hour, but this was not due to the performance of this vehicle. But it was that maximum speed reached 275 km per hour with the momentum using the long downhill of the Joe Shinkansen. The appearance of the 200 series is similar to the Zero series that was first used on the Tokaido Shinkansen. The appearance is almost the same, and the only big difference is the painting. The Tokaido Shinkansen has a blue and white coloring, while the Tohoku Shinkansen is painted green and white. This color represents spring green because the Tohoku Shinkansen and the Joe Shinkansen run in the areas with a lot of snow and the long winter. Since these Shinkansen la trains land in the place with a lot of snow, there are sufficient measures to prevent the snowfall, and there are considerable differences in the underfloor and the other invisible areas. In the Tokaido Shinkansen, there is a second generation vehicle called the 100 series. It's also known as the shark nose with a sharper tip compared to the zero series. There was this type of the vehicle on the Tohoku Shinkansen, but it was the same series as the 200 series because the basic structure was the same, only the front design was different. In addition, the Tokaido Shinkansen had a two-story vehicle that was a characteristic of the 100 series, but on the Tohoku Shinkansen, the two-story vehicle was a version of the 200 series. This double-decker vehicle had a cafeteria and a private compartment on the first floor and green car on the second floor. The Tohoku Shinkansen has never made a complete dining car and the cafeteria was also available in a single-story vehicle, but it fell out of operation due to a decline in demand. This cafeteria is no longer available on the Tohoku Shinkansen now. When the successor vehicle, the E2 series, was introduced, it became out of operation on the Tohoku Shinkansen and eventually operated only on the Joet Shinkansen. After that, when the current Tohoku Shinkansen's main vehicle, the E5 series, was launched, this time the E2 series was launched into the Joet Shinkansen and the 200 series were all retired in the spring of 2013. 400 series, the first mini Shinkansen vehicle. The 400 series is a vehicle that was manufactured at the same time as the Yamagata Shinkansen was opened on July 1, 1992. The maximum operating speed was 240 km per hour. When the 400 series was introduced, light gray was painted on the car body, dark gray was painted around the window, and there was a green line under the window. But when the successor vehicle, E3 series was introduced, 400 series was repainted to the same color of E3 series. The color of upper body is painted silver, the lower part of the body is painted gray, and there is a green line below the window. This is the first Mini Shinkansen vehicle, but I have to explain a bit about the Mini Shinkansen. Strictly speaking, the Mini Shinkansen is not a Shinkansen. 
the Mini Shinkansen is a line that allows the Shinkansen to run on conventional lines that are narrower gauge than the Shinkansen. The gauge of the Shinkansen line in Japan is a 1435 mm, while that of a conventional line is 1067 mm. Shinkansen vehicles cannot be used on the conventional lines because of the difference of the gauge. Therefore, the Mini Shinkansen is a line that allows the Shinkansen trains to enter by making the track width of the conventional line the same as the Shinkansen. However, the facility is still the standard for the conventional line only by matching the width of the track to the Shinkansen. Since the Shinkansen runs at high speed, there are no railroad crossing at all on the Shinkansen tracks, and the tracks cannot be invaded by the overpasses or walls. However, there are railroad crossing and no walls beside the tracks on the Yamagata Shinkansen segment. It is not possible to drive at the high speed. That is why the maximum speed on the conventional line is 130 km per hour. In addition, the vehicle limit of the conventional line is narrower than that of the Shinkansen. The 400 is made one size smaller than other Shinkansen vehicles. As a result, there are large gap between the platform and the vehicle. The 400 c is equipped with an extension step to fill this gap. Since 400 c is a smaller vehicle, the ordinary Shinkansen train has a 3 plus 2 seat layout in the ordinary class, but the 400 c has a 2 plus 2 seat layout. In the green car, the ordinary type of Shinkansen train has a 2 plus 2 seat layout for green cars, but the 400 series has 1 plus 2 seat layout. This 400 series operated between Tokyo and Fukushima in coupled with a Tohoku Shinkansen train, and it is separated in the Fukushima for Yamagata and Shinjo. Since this was the first mini Shinkansen vehicle, the 400 series had many structural differences from other Shinkansen vehicles, so this vehicle out of the operation when the next generation E3C was introduced. By the way, this vehicle is smaller than other Shinkansen vehicles and has less air resistance, so it is suitable for the high-speed driving. In the test before the start operation, this train ran at 348.8 km per hour, which was a fast record at the time in Japan. E1 series, the first two-story Shinkansen vehicle. The E1 series was put into operation on July 15, 1994. This train was the first Shinkansen train to consist of only double-decker cars, and the 12 cars constitute one train. The E1 series of all double-decker vehicles was developed because the number of the people using the Tohoku Shinkansen and the Jowetsu Shinkansen for commuting increased. Therefore, JR East emphasized mass transportation rather than speed, and became a two-story vehicle with the aim of the carrying the more passengers in one train. In addition, in order to supply more seats, the ordinary cars on the second floor of cars 1, 2, 4 have a seat layout of 3 plus 3 as compared to the normal Shinkansen, 3 plus 2. Since it doesn't have an armrest between the seat, the seat on this train was quite small for the Shinkansen. When this vehicle appeared, the appearance was a shade of the gray painted upper half and the lower half with a green stripe in between. The E1 series was later refurbished and repainted to the same color as the E2 series. The lower half was a dark blue, the upper half was a white, and the pink line in between. This vehicle consisted of the 12 cars, but due to oversupply, depending on the time of the day, there was a restrictions on the operation. Also, with the opening on the Yamagata Shinkansen, a train of the six cars of the Yamagata Shinkansen will be connected between Tokyo and Fukushima. However, in the Tohoku Shinkansen, which can accommodate the longest train of the 17 cars. The E1 series of the 12 car train set was too long. So after the appearance of the double decker E4 series of the same concept, it gradually became out of operation from the Tohoku Shinkansen. 
Eventually, it was a limited operation on the Joet Shinkansen, but it was retired in 2012 due to aging of this vehicle. E2 series, JR East Standard Type Vehicle. The Akita Shinkansen was opened in the spring of the 1997, but it was developed as a Tohoku Shinkansen train that connects Akita Shinkansen trains between Tokyo and Morioka. It was also launched on the Nagano Shinkansen, which opened prior to the Nagano Olympic Winter Games in 1998. The maximum speed of the E2 series was increased to the 275 km per hour, contributing to the speed up of the Tohoku Shinkansen. In addition, this vehicle replaced the aging 200 series, and the 200 series gradually began to operate mainly on the Joet Shinkansen. The top shape of this train is somewhat similar to the 400 series, but the optimization was done in the consideration of the aerodynamic resistance and it became slightly flatter than the 400 series. Unlike cars of the past Shinkansen trains, the appearance is a dark blue in the lower half, white in the upper half, with the red lines for the Nagano Shinkansen and the pink lines for the Tohoku Shinkansen in between. Currently, all E2 series for the Nagano Shinkansen had been scrapped. So, only those with a pink line are in operation on the Tohoku and the Joet Shinkansen. The interior of this vehicle is only ordinary cars and green cars. There is no cafeteria s or other dining facilities, and there are no bilevel cars. This is a very simple facility aimed at speeding up the Tohoku Shinkansen. The later version of the E2 series were equipped with a power outlet for the first time on the Tohoku Shinkansen trains. Currently, the successor type E5 series is the main vehicle of the Tohoku Shinkansen, and the E2 series operated only between Tokyo and Sendai. It is used as the main vehicle on the Joet Shinkansen, but it is likely that the replacement with the E7 series will proceed in the near future. E3 series, Mini Shinkansen Second Generation Vehicle. This is a Mini Shinkansen vehicle developed in line with the opening of the Akita Shinkansen in the spring of the 1997. The maximum speed of this vehicle in the Shinkansen section was 275 km, which is the same as the E2 series. After that, this vehicle was also introduced to the Yamagata Shinkansen. Replacing the 400 series. The size of this vehicle is similar to the 400 series, which is the first Mini Shinkansen vehicle. However, while the 400 series had a 1 plus 2 seat layout for green cars, this E3 series had 2 plus 2 seat layout for green cars, the same as the ordinary cars. As a result, the E3 series green car has a smaller size difference from the ordinary car seat. E3 series had a different coloring depending on the operation route. For the Akita Shinkansen, the color of the upper body is based on the white, lower part of the body is based on the gray, the front of the car to the roof is painted black, and there is a pink stripe below the window. For the Yamagata Shinkansen, the color of the upper body is painted silver, a lower part of the body is painted gray. And there is a green line below the window. Currently, E3 series has been completely replaced with the new E6 series on the Akita Shinkansen. And the E3 series for the Akita Shinkansen is now used as a part of the formation of the Tohoku Shinkansen. The E3 series used on the Yamagata Shinkansen, but it was refurbished and repainted. The color of the body is based on the white. The front of the car to the roof is painted purple, and there is a red and orange stripe in between. On the side of this vehicle, Cherries,、uh, which is a Yamagata Prefecture's specialty product, is drawn. This coloring was designed by the Ken Okuyama, an E6, E6 series designer who will be explained later. 
Also, Yamagata Shinkansen will be replaced with a new EH series from 2024. Some E3 series have been converted into the sightseeing trains and operate as a Genbi Shinkansen running on the Jowetsu Shinkansen and the Toreyu Tsubasa running on the Yamagata Shinkansen. But the Genbi Shinkansen will be discontinued by end of this year. E4 series, second generation double decker Shinkansen vehicle. The E4 series is a double decker vehicle that replaced the E1 series. The maximum speed is 240 km per hour. Like the E1 series, it is a vehicle specialized for the mass transporting and commuting passengers rather than the speed. The E1 series is a 12 car train set, and there was a problem of the excess supply capacity other than rush hour. It was also the problem that E1 series was too long to combine the seven car formation of the Yamagata Shinkansen. The E4 series vehicle developed to solve these problems, and its operation started in December 1997. The E4 series has an eight car train formation. Which can combine the seven car train of the Yamagata Shinkansen. Also, in the rush hour, by connecting the two four E series of eight cars, it is possible to operate as a 16 car train, and it is possible to increase the transportation capacity. This 16 car train formation has the largest capacity of the one high speed train in the world. The appearance is different from the E1 series in the front design. And the nose is longer to improve the aerodynamic performance. When this vehicle was introduced, the color of the upper body was painted white, the lower part of the body was painted dark blue, and there is a yellow line in between. Then, when the E1 series of the same b i l a b l e crane was scrapped, the E4 series was changed to the same color as the E1 series white, dark blue, and the pink line in between. The interior is based on the E1 series, and the part of the three plus three seat layout of the ordinary cars in the E1 series is adopted. And the second floor of the car number one to three has this narrow three plus three seat. Initially, it was operated on the Tohoku Shinkansen and the Jowetsu Shinkansen, but with the introduction of the new E5 series on the Tohoku Shinkansen, The operation on the Tohoku Shinkansen has decreased, and now it is operating only on the Jowetsu Shinkansen. All of E4 series was scheduled to the scrap, but since the train, 10 trains of E7 W7 series used in the Hokuriku Shinkansen were submerged due to typhoon in 2019, they are scrapped. So, all of the E7 series operated on the Jowetsu Shinkansen were transferred to the Hokuriku Shinkansen. E4 series will be used for the some more years. However, in the near future, this E4 series will also be withdrawn from the operation. E5 H5 series, main vehicle of the current Tohoku and the Hokkaido Shinkansen. The E5 series is a vehicle that was introduced to operate the Tohoku Shinkansen at a speed of 320 km per hour. On March 5, 2011, it was given the name Hayabusa as the fastest train on the Tohoku Shinkansen and started operating. Currently, this vehicle is used on the train other than Hayabusa and is the main vehicle of the Tohoku and the Hokkaido Shinkansen. The H5 series was introduced by the JR Hokkaido in the spring of the 2016 in line with the opening of the to Hokkaido Shinkansen and is almost the same series as the E5 series. The appearance is characterized by the top part called the arrow line. This enables 320 km per hour driving head back from the test vehicle. The top half of this vehicle is bright green. The bottom half is painted white, and the pink belt is in between, which is a bright coloring that wasn't available on the previous Shinkansen train. The H5 series has a purple belt instead of a pink. Another major feature of this vehicle is the Grand Class, which is a higher class than the Green Car. There are only 18 seats per train, 
and the large leather seats are available in the larger space. There is a dedicated、uh, Grand Cross attendant, and you can receive the complimentary light meal and the drinks. The service is a truly Shinkansen's first class. In the E5 H5 seats, all seats of the Green Class and the Grand Class are equipped with an electrical outlet. Ordinary cars are equipped with an outlet on the window side seats and the front row and the back row seats. E6 seats, the Akita Shinkansen vehicle designed by the Ferrari designer. E6 series was introduced to the Akita Shinkansen on March 16, 2013, and the maximum speed of this train is 320 km per hour on the Tohok Shinkansen track and 130 km per hour on the Akita Shinkansen track. Currently, all Akita Shinkansen trains are operated by E6 series. The E5 series was introduced on the Tohok Shinkansen. Which enabled the operation at 320 km per hour. However, the E3 series used for the Akita Shinkansen had a maximum speed of the 275 km per hour, so, performance of the E5 series could not be fully demonstrated when it's coupled with the E3 series. The E6 series was introduced as a vehicle for the Akita Shinkansen, which supports a 320 km per hour operation. In the Shinkansen section with E5 series. The E6 series was developed at the same time as the E5 series, and there are similarities in appearance, such as the head part called the arrow line, which is a feature of the E5 series. This train was designed by the Ken Okuyama, a designer called the, the first non Italian guy to the design Ferrari. Along with the coloring the best on the red, It is finished in more sharp vehicles. It is my most favorite Shinkansen vehicle. The seat layout is a 2 plus 2 for both green and、uh, ordinary cars, according to the E3 series. It's、uh, disappointing that、uh, there isn't much difference between ordinary seat and green car seat. E7 W7 series, Hokuriku Shinkansen vehicle. Along with the extension of the Hokuriku Shinkansen from Nagano to Kanazawa in the spring of the 2015, E7 W7 series was a vehicle jointly developed by the JR East and the JR West and was introduced to the Hokuriku Shinkansen in the previous year. The E7 series and the W7 series are the same. The E7 series belongs to the JR East and the W7 belongs to the JR West. The Hokuriku Shinkansen are operated by the both JR East and the JR West. The maximum operating speed of the Hokuriku Shinkansen is 260 km per hour, which is lower than that of the Tohoku Shinkansen. Therefore, the vehicle shape is different from the E5 series aimed at the speed improvement, and it is said that design is based on the E2 series. The theme of this vehicle is the future of the Japanese. And the sky blue, ivory, and the copper colors express the traditional Japanese colors. The designer is Ken Okuyama, who designed the E6 series at on the Akita Shinkansen. Following the E5 series, the E7 series has a grand class. The E7 series is the first Shinkansen vehicle to be equipped with an outlet in all seats, including the all ordinary seats. This was possible because the maximum speed was suppressed to the 260 km per hour and there was enough power. Currently, it is mainly used on the Hokuriku Shinkansen, but in the future, it will be added to the Joet Shinkansen, and it will be the main vehicle on the Joet Shinkansen too. Let's wrap up. I made a chronology of the Shinkansen train the history I explained the train. If you are interested in, please pause and watch. If you found this video useful or interesting, please click the like button and subscribe to my channel. It will motivate me to create other videos. I have various videos useful for train travel in Japan,、uh, train history, and train news. Please watch the other video too. Thank you very much for watching my video. See you guys next time. Arigatou gozaimashita. Sayonara.